Good morning. Good morning. Please stand. Just as Jesus died and has risen again, so through Jesus God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. And as in Adam all die, so also in Christ will all be brought to life. This morning, as we gather together to remember our brothers and sisters who sleep in Christ, let us sing in this place, number 309 in Breaking Bread. We gather in this place this morning to remember all of our loved ones, our brothers and sisters who have passed on to eternity, and we are left with their memories and the grief, but we are here to acknowledge again everlasting life. So let us begin our celebration this morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the grace and the peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit you know, once again as we are all on our journey to inter eternal life we first pause to remember the need for forgiveness once again the unconditional forgiveness that is always there for us from jesus lord jesus you raise us to new life <clears throat> lord have mercy lord have mercy and lord jesus you forgive us our sins Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and your blood. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on
Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace, for if before men, indeed, they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastise a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person. Though perhaps for a good person, one might even find courage to die. But God proves his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we are now justified by his blood, will we be saved through him from the wrath? Indeed, if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, and much more, once reconciled, we will be saved by his life. Not only that, but we also boast of God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
To John. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also whoever feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For the next uh, few moments, <clears throat> we'd like to offer in prayer the names of all of our deceased brothers and sisters who passed from us to eternal life since last November 2nd, since the last All Souls Day. So once again, let us enter into a prayerful memory as we present these deeds and these names once again. So we remember Dolores Jean Williams. Joseph Stabosian, Josephine Mentor, Ronald Joseph Dombrowski, Lawrence Albanese, Teresa Koch, Eugene T. Ondek, Christine A. McLeishan, Leon Simon Cabbage, Alice Oledger. Lucille F. Flora, Dr. William C. Kashutas, Arlene Marie Eldridge, Robert Roback, Dorothy Iraqi, Michael J. Barwinski, Catherine Jeanette Plumilio, George V. Maddow. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. 
Diane M. Bressington, Elizabeth Arlene Jarrett, John G. Subkowski, Frank Lichkowski, Janice Oshinsky, Thomas Turkowski, Sheila Perkinski, Stanley J. Dudrick, M.D., Mary Ruth Lushinski, Betty R. Sadowski. Peter P. Gattuso, Jr. Dorothy Ivanko. Edmund Guerin. Charles Templeton II. Norma Bolotansky. Joseph Wisniewski. Joseph Ozeski. Paul Sokol. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. <clears throat> Mark Scalini, Narciss Kenia, Charles Goldsmith, Anthony Paul, Catherine M. Ford, Teresa Sova. Cecilia Subjak, Julia Ojar, Mary Frances Ford, Eleanor Zdarsky. Jeffrey Hall, Justine Sean, Henrietta T. Cochibin, Genevieve Jenny Herenza, Carol A. Rominski, Henry Edward Yanis, James M. Kramer, Enrico Rich Pucci. Madeline Say, 
Mary Gapinski. Leo Uranowski. Ennis Centurion. Catherine Crook. Anna M. Golubeski. Mary Kosholik. Walter Michael Hallisey, Jr. Jr. Joseph Chamora, Irene Yatko, Sylvia O'Malley, Eleanor Benjamin. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Richard J. Zarzecki, Leonard Zakorski, Ruth Ann Sova, Raymond Starzynski, Elizabeth Jean Grabowski, Pearl Price, Roberta Cohen, Joan Reski, Catherine Starkey, Gerald Shemensky. Regina Cush, Christine M. Perensky, Margaret Markowski, Barbara Tabbitt, John E. Koslowski, Lawrence Garbarino Sr. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you 
David Chester Beggs, Emily Keller, Sylvester McCluskey, Gerald T. Babbitts, Regina Jean Owens, Charlotte Kania Chickson, Wendell Eckroat, Denise L. Bukowski, Denise Ann Yatko, Regina Albanese. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. John Brita, Francis Beretsky. Leonard Jeskevich, Samuel Charles Silla, Joseph Bashai, Francis J. Skip Giampietro, Dorothy Dugelio, Paul Gorski, Kimberly Ann Hunlock, Stanley Guncher. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Joan Barbara Donahue. Helen Ann Donowski, Joseph R. Agostini, Peter Paul Raven Jr., Theodore Teddy Rasky, Felix Kremsky. brothers and sisters from our parish. An eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. them. May they rest in peace. Amen. And may their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen.
And let us stand as we offer, profess our faith. The faith that we <coughs> use to guide us on our journey to eternity. The faith that has led our deceased brothers and sisters on theirs. I believe, I believe in one God, the Father, God the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only, the only begotten God. Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, God. not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we remember our own needs and concerns in our journey of, to eternity, we offer now these petitions. Please respond here, Lord, hear our prayer that the church be a source of healing for all who grieve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the terrors of wear and genocide be remembered and that peace reign in every land. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died enjoy the blessing of God's light and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the memory of those who have died in the faith challenge the living to renewed service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That members of this assembly visit the sick, care for the dying, and comfort mourners. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that life in all forms be respected in every way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the pastoral planning process and all who are involved be a successful endeavor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all the emergency and medical personnel who are doing those jobs on the front line of society be protected from harm and that their their resolve be strengthened. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the prayer requests received by our parish's ministry of prayer be heard and answered according to God's holy will. We pause now to remember our own personal intentions in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our Mass intention, all of the departed souls, rest in the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us conclude our prayer this morning of intercessions with the intercession, call on the intercession of Mary, who herself knew great grief for the death of her, her son. So pray again to her for Help us with healing and remembrance and faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As the gifts are presented and prepared at the altar, let us together sing, O Loving God, number 681 in Breaking Bread. Now pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good of all his holy church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servants may be taken up into the glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as, as one alone he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying, as one man he chose to die, so that in your sight 
we all might live forever. And so in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the religious and clergy. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Faustina and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. But through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now 
by the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us share Christ's peace with one another. To everyone who is viewing at home, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin. takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even though he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will not die forever. As we come forth to receive the body and blood of Christ in the Holy Eucharist, let us sing, I am the bread of life, number 363 in Breaking Bread. <laughs> Oh, 
You know, with our sisters and brothers praying with us this morning at home, we pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your departed servants, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. All right. God bless everybody. Thank you, Father. As we go forth this morning, let us lift our voices in praise to God by singing, Fly Like a Bird, number 463 in Breaking Bread. Justin. These candles were lit, of course, in remembrance of all of our brothers and sisters. Um, we thank Josie for lighting them. Each one represents a soul from our parish that has departed in the past year. There's 130 of them. And of course, we remember, even though we honor only those who have died in the past year with the candles, we remember everyone uh, who has died, no matter when they have. So, um, of course, our prayers are with all of you today, um, all of you who mourn. Don't forget that our brothers and sisters, our mothers and fathers, our friends, neighbors, everyone who has enveloped our life is now, they are now in the hands of the Heavenly Father. Thank you for joining us for this Mass, and you all take care. God bless.